Rice production, with rice consumption rather, stripping domestic production, government with support from Agra has put in place a series of measures to revolutionize the sector and ease imports of the commodity as well as boost exports. This focus on boosting production has already paid off, with Ghana currently producing about 55% of its rice consumption in less than four years. There's more in the following report by Anand Sabit. Rice has become the most important food staple after maize in Ghana and its consumption keeps increasing as a result of population growth, urbanization and change in consumer habits. With a higher consumption, the country largely depends on importation to make up the deficit in rice supply. However, in recent years, with the right structures in place for continuous progress of the government's planting for food and jobs program coupled with access to modern farming technology by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, AGRA and other governmental support, Ghana is currently gravitating towards self-sufficiency in both maize and rice production. Foster Kwame Boatin is the West African Regional Head of AGRA. AGRA has helped crop research institute, scientific for industrial research, both SARI and uh, CRI, to develop varieties, maize varieties, soya varieties, rice varieties, and then cassava varieties that provide about double or three times what farmers get using their local varieties. Farmers used to get about, let's say, one metric ton per hectare on their fields. Now farmers are registering between 2.5 and 3.5 metric tons, almost three times. That is what we've been able to achieve. These interventions has contributed immensely in increasing rice production in Ghana from 25% to 55%. Before this government came, pro total production for maize in Ghana was about 1.8 million metric tons. That was as far back as 2017. Now we are talking about 3.50 million metric tons. It means we are almost doubled our production. And then it means Ghana is gravitating towards self-sufficiency in maize production. I'll bring you to rice. Even before this government came, and we realized that we were producing almost 25% of our rice, importing 75% of that. And even if you look at the import bill alone, at that time, it's between $650 million to almost about $1, $1 billion. Now, as I speak, we are able to produce 55% of the rice we consume. It means that there's a big saving of 35% 35, 35 are not being imported. So when you compute on that, you are talking about making a savings of about $400 million. This is what we are talking about. Currently, there is a consortium in place working to improve local rice consumption and reduce further its importation. Nana Ama Opondia is the policy advisor at the JA Kufo Foundation. We work as a consortium. Uh, members of the consortium are uh, the Ministry of Food and Agri, um, Hope Line, Interval, the John A. Kufour Foundation, and we have two seed producers, um, Sparks and Volta City. And each of the consortium.